Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mask Energy Camp, and today is Diversity Saturdays. This is a session where we talk about a variety of things instead of just one thing that mainly focus on health. You know, health is the keystone to everything that you touch. So therefore, make sure you have that tone, that tone in. But once you have your health toned in and you feel good, your vitality is through the roof. You are amazing. Then it's time to work on other things. Uh, so that's why I focus mainly on health. Why? So that you can be able to do everything else easily. You don't have to worry about health. You need to get that down packed so that when you master it, you can focus directly on getting things done, building good relationships, building business. Now, one of the things that people usually ask about is, like, what is their purpose? Like, what? why are we even here? And that's a very a good question. Why? Because every time something is made, we have a question that, what is the purpose of it? So if you made an iron, we know the iron's purpose is to iron clothes, to make clothes wrinkle-free so that you can look good. So the question is, why are we here? Now, there are many reasons. And based, based on what I see, I see that we're here to continue evolution. And when I say evolution, I don't say it in the sense of how we think it's the Darwin theory where you came from a one-cell molecule, then you came to a fish and then you became this but that is evolution from when you were born think about it when you're born before you're born you're produced by one cell organism which is sperm and an egg and then it fuses together and then it becomes like a fish if you look at a fierce picture it looks kind of like a fish and then you become start forming the brain the cerebellum and spinal cord and so forth so that's basically evolution in that state from a single cell organism to a human being, a fully fledged system of uh, organs and that work properly. Now, um, when I say evolution, I say the ev- evolution of the planet itself. How well can human beings live in harmony with nature? Now, if we were to go back a few hundred years ago, we can say that a lot of human beings learned how to live in harmony with nature because there were less distractions. They learned when storms were coming. They learned when weather patterns indicated hurricanes and different storms and so forth and what foods to eat and what not to eat. So they pretty much survive. But now we are, are at a point where we can see that we have technology where we can document things much easier. Uh, we can create a huge database on every last plan and we have enough people to test it out. So the purpose of why you're here is to create. All right, to create and expand. Uh, you are basically a chain, a link in a chain, which uh, either participates in continuing a legacy or not so you have a reproductive capability you're able to create offspring and when you create offspring this offspring is allowed to continue on the legacy now besides being part of the reproductive chain you also have an input meaning that whatever you do can count or not so for instance many people are thinking that um if they're going to leave it up the chance for the life to make their life count they're going to to rely on an outward force, outside force, in order to say, hey, you know what, I'm going to be blessed or successful if I keep believing. No, you have to do whatever you put out there, that's what, what you're going to get. And remember, whatever you associate yourself with attracts things that are associated with that association. So you understand? So the main purpose why here is to create. I mean, if you think about it, there are, what, 7.8 billion people, like, and then these people are of different races although they are all are part of the human race but they are of different uh what you call origins meaning that their genealogy is a bit different that's why us black negro people uh we have uh, uh this type of hair which is amazing it's like a sponge especially when you pick it up i like my sponge here i grow my hair but um uh, then you have asian people the hair are much thinner and softer and then the American, I say American, but the, you have the Neanderthal or slash the Caucasian or Caucasoids. Uh, and then the Melanated people, which is us, and the Indian, which is the Red Man, and so forth. So when you look at everybody, like we are all here with hands, eyes, and, and, and voices. We're here to create. Now, the thing is that you realize that you're only here for a particular season, meaning that uh, you could probably pray <laughs> or be able to live about uh, 120 years old or more, all depending on how well you can take care of your body. But 
we do realize that after that point in time, then you have to leave. And then you may come back in to the system with another body. But besides that, you know your purpose is based upon uh, what the systems look like. Like I said, what's the purpose of a roach? Like a lot of people hate roaches. They see them and they just stomp them. In. And you realize that roaches continue coming into the system. You know? So that's a very interesting question. So uh, once you get healthy, then you have to ask, what is your purpose? So the purpose for you is to create, to create whatever birth vision that you have. Now, how do you know this birth vision? This birth vision comes with you, pre-installed into your genetic DNA, and you only activate this by following the inside voice. The inside voice is that voice that tells you what to do, and it gives you particular feelings. So you, you have to let your feelings guide you. Like you say, man, I feel like I'm supposed to do this. It just feel like I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to do this. So whatever that feeling is, you have to expand and you have to ignore all outside voices and follow that inside voice. That's your internal compass, your internal guide. So this is very important into uh, ascending into your greatest destiny. And the, the poor thing or you know, the negative side of not accomplishing this is that you don't accomplish. A lot of people live their lives purpose, purposeless. All right, and when they live their lives um, purposeless, uh, <clears throat> then uh, they become a total failure. Spirit after they leave their body. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> just had dinner. <coughs> <coughs> their spirit after they leave their body is unhappy. It didn't get to uh, receive what it's supposed to receive. So the earth is said to be a school, a school where you come here to grow the spirit. And the only way you grow the spirit is to have the experiences that came with you at your bird vision, meaning that the experience you're supposed to create. So when you fail to create, you're actually destroying or you're not your your spirit is withering away. So you have to continue creating in order for the spirit to grow. But this only can happen when once you have accomplished how to be healthy, how to keep a, a great sense of well being mentally physically and energetically and also uh another way to know your purpose is whatever you see yourself good at when you see yourself good in a particular area for yourself then you have to keep that and we all uh have an important call have the answer so thanks for listening and stay tuned for more body see you